Hi guys, uh, we're here to show you what a Swiss ball setup looks like. So one thing to keep in mind when you're doing anything in regards to isolating the abs is that you really want to avoid neck flexion, okay? So you really want to avoid bending from the neck and all of your strength is going to be recruited via your midline. So that's a really important cue when you're doing this stuff by yourself. So the Swiss ball sit up. You can either use the blue one or the green one. The blue one tends to be best for most people's heights. You want to take a seat on it against a wall, okay? Try and get your lower back to rest mostly on the ball. You have a little bit of your glutes, but for the most part, it's your lower back, okay? You're going to stretch out across through the abs, nice and stable through the back, hands by your temples, not behind your neck. From here, you're going to pull using your abs, not breaking from the neck. So, eye line stays up towards the roof, and you're just going to sit up using the abs, and then slowly back down. Okay, and you go to what you can. So come up, and then back down. As you fatigue, you want to avoid, obviously, crunching through your spine. So you do not want to do this. Okay, you want to make sure all of it's coming from your abs. So hands by your temples. And that's the Swiss ball sit up.